What's up everybody, Atlas Zero here and today I'm coming back at y'all with some more Jump Stadium for the mobile device. This is an awesome new game that just came out a few days ago and I'm loving it. So I figured I'd bring y'all some more content. A lot of people have been asking how to get more characters, how to unlock them. So I'm going to be showing that to y'all today. I did a video on how to get Goku. Um, so I'll kind of be going a little bit back over that today, but I'll be showing you how to get more characters in general instead of just for one character. So it's very simple guys. But guys, remember, if you want to see more Jump Stadium on the channel, do not forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. More of it coming y'all's way. Over 8,000 subscribers, thanks to y'all. So let's get this thing going. So the first thing you do, guys, is let's go hit this little man right here to see who you want to unlock. And then you go down to this purple dude. And you see, you actually see that I have four of five Goku and Naruto pieces. So I'm going to be using this Goku and Naruto, getting them as the example in this video. You see there are many other people who, well actually you can see Goku, Naruto, and whoever this dude, if the other dude is with the blonde hair, they have thing, uh, words by their name. I can't read Japanese, so I don't know what it's saying, who you have to use for each player, but it's real easy, because this is actually another account that I'm doing. Um, I have just about all, at least half the characters unlocked on my other account. All you do is really use certain characters to get certain people and when you get a new character just use that new character to unlock the next person so you know you don't went through all the characters to use them to unlock other people well so as you see these people they have question marks by the name so I don't know who really what you have to do to unlock those but they do end up unlocking as you gain more people just for instance for Goku and Naruto you come to this man go to right here where you choose your party the yellow people and this is a pain not being able to read Japanese and then you just swap people out so you can go into here and for really for Goku to unlock Goku you have to have I think her name's RL you use her and then for Naruto you have to use this guy with the orange hair the samurai looking dude I can't remember his name but oh I don't care but so what you have to do is use them in battle you do not have to actually like once you get into battle you can just use RL the whole time or you can use the other dude the whole time. You do not have to have any certain kind of knockouts with them or specials done with them. You just have to have the got person in your party to get the pieces of the player, which is pretty easy to unlock. So since I have these two in my party, I'm going to go and I'm going to do a local match. And you saw how I had four or five Goku and Naruto pieces. When I'm done with this match, you will see that I have, uh, that I have all five of them. And you can do any match. You can do a match that's already been done. Like, I'm going to do the first one you can, first match you can do just to make it easy. You're going up against RL. All right, so here we go. RL, and look, you don't have to do anything special. I'm just going to do some specials. Well, I missed that one. But you can just knock her out. Look, I'm going to go knock. I'm going to knock this girl out with just RL. Uh, I'm not going to worry about swapping or anything and you'll see when I'm done with this I will have all five of five pieces for Naruto and Goku okay I want to get on this side I want to like knock you off the off the side hey, hey I want to knock you off the side make it quicker well actually you're you might uh yeah, you're gonna die for I knock you off the side so for quick win just knock somebody off the side it's nothing to it and see it actually has that see a blue notification at the bottom that actually told me that that I have unlocked somebody, even though I can't read Japanese. But I've noticed every single time I unlock somebody new, I get a notification at the bottom. So also you can see you have a notification by the man. You see the red exclamation point right here. And see this purple dude has got the exclamation point. Now all you have to do is come here and hit this button. And boom, Goku's going to be summoned. So I will be doing some gameplay with these dudes in this video. So don't uh, leave yet. We're going to have... A great time. See, I know this is a little slaggy. I don't. I guess recording my recording stuff. I don't have the best uh, equipment for recording a phone, which would be nice if I did. That would be pretty cool. I don't have like a capture card. I'm using straight up USB. And now we have Naruto. All right, Uzumaki Naruto. All right, so let's take these guys in the battle, guys. So I'll show you how to swap people out. Here we go. Boom, Naruto. Well, well, we'll take Goku out first since we we all love Goku. We love Naruto too, but Goku, I just think Goku's better. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this Jump Stadium content. I will be bringing more. I'm going to start doing like PvP gameplay and just showing characters off, like character showcases. I don't think there'll be mods, but hey, if there are, that'd be pretty cool. 
So let's go and just, let's do this new one. We're facing Yugi. So it's going to be two on, well, I say two on one. I got two characters, but uh, Yugi actually, we only got one person out at a time. So we got Son Goku, and we're taking Yugi on. All right. Let's go, Yugi. Come on. I don't. I wish I had like a Kamehameha or something, uh, but I don't. This is a brand new account. I hadn't summoned Goku's Kamehouse Kamehameha yet, but it's all good. It's all good. We got a little dash going. Let's get Naruto out. See, so it's it's really nice. It's really oh Matt oh Dark Magician. Okay, so you can do you can do Dark Magician. Oh Lord. See, this it's not really hard. This is very easy, guys. Uh. It's getting characters is nothing to it. And actually, you'll, I'll show you something after this match. We'll get some more pieces and more people for using Goku and Naruto. So like I said, you just go back and use the people. You just got to use the people and you'll get different pieces for different people. So guys, it's that simple. Again, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this is helpful. If it was, remember to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. A lot of more great Jump Stadium content coming your way. I'm going to get into PvP matches and show that off. I might do some summoning videos, I don't really know, because all you're doing is summoning for special attacks, yeah, I don't really know. But guys, again, thanks for watching, y'all have a great day, and God bless you.